Today, Florida lawmakers debating a bill aimed at reducing the state's teacher shortage. It would help school districts keep teachers who have not passed the state's licensing exam. I-Team investigator Katie Legrone has spent the last two years looking into that controversial test. Tonight, she gets reactions to the bill many say is long overdue. As proposed changes to Florida's teacher certification process prompts little debate during round one in Tallahassee. You don't want something that is that can be considered arbitrary keeping that teacher from staying in that classroom. School districts are responding to the newly filed legislation. I think it's a great a positive step forward. If approved, the bill will extend how long teachers have to pass the controversial but mandatory general knowledge part of the exam. It also reduces testing fees and lets schools decide if they want to keep teachers with proven records in the classroom who have yet to pass the state test. As part of our two year long investigation, we were first to report how failures on the test caused districts to fire more than 1,000 teachers last summer alone. That's been my sort of one of my biggest contentions. The Lee County School District among several who lobbied lawmakers for change after 2015 revisions to the test caused failure rates to jump up to 30%. It just really allows us to be able to maintain some of those great teachers that may not be able to pass a portion of a single test. Hillsborough County Schools also weighing in with support, along with Palm Beach County, where its superintendent told us hundreds of teachers are at risk of losing their jobs if they don't pass by the end of the year. As for those still struggling with the test, response in this online help forum is mixed. I like that they are pushing it to three years instead of one to pass it. Absolutely not. Doesn't solve the problem. The state teachers union says solving the state's teacher shortage is much bigger than certification issues. They say the state is still falling short by not paying teachers enough. The bill needs to be approved by a number of committees before it goes for a final vote. Katie Legrone, back to you. Katie has been reporting on this controversial test for two years now. You can see all of her previous reporting. Just head on over to abcactionnews.com.